Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to exploring the world of Azeroth in World of Warcraft. Today's adventure leads us to Outland in the Hellfire Peninsula. We are, are right in front of the Hellfire Ramparts dungeon, where we are going to be going in, and uh, we're going to be breaking out of bounds. And I'm going to show you the out of bounds area. Now, I just want to say there's a couple of things before we start. I just got to get this off my chest. First off, I want to thank everybody so much for the 2,000 subs. You guys are amazing. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe that we hit over 2,000 subs. Yeah, I, I can't can't wait to continue to keep growing, to keep making this channel and this community bigger that we've been growing on Discord. And I can't wait to meet and see all of you uh, Sunday who have signed up and are ready going to be doing the Gnome Run for our March 10th coming up. Now, second thing. I, it is never, ever, ever my intention to ever do clickbait on any of my videos. I just want to make that clear right now. Um, I had released the Hellfire Ramparts video about two weeks back and I deleted it. So I want to do it right. And I want to make it up to everybody that had clicked on that video. I had put in the thumbnail, um, something that I shouldn't have. And it, it was never my intention to make it blow up like it did. Uh, people felt very betrayed and like when they clicked on the thumbnail, they felt like I had um, clickbaited them and that is guys I just want to say I'm gonna always be transparent with you all So first off, I want to apologize to those who did click on that video and felt like they did get clickbaited Second going forward that is never going to happen again. Um, I want to be real. I want to have fun with you guys I want to make these videos because I love World of Warcraft and you love Wow and you love watching the videos and so I just want to apologize again Please um, don't ever feel like you come to my channel and you feel like you're going to get clickbaited because that's not what I'm here for. I'm not here to just make millions of dollars and, you know, be the next Mr. Beast. Like, sure, would it be awesome to have, a, a, you know, thousands of subscribers and all that? Yeah. But in saying that, I just want to let you guys know I love every single one of you who have been supporting the channel. You guys are awesome. And I never ever want to make anybody ever feel like at ATN that they're getting clickbaited or that they're getting, um, they're making them feel like they're just coming here because, oh, I'm getting a thousands of views and you know, I'm going to make millions of dollars off the channel. Now, like I'm here to have fun. I'm here to explore that world of Azeroth. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to say that. So moving forward, you're never ever going to see that. And uh, yeah, I will always be open and honest with you guys. If you ever have feedback, if you ever have criticism, let me know. I'm here to um, to take that feedback, take that criticism, and uh, yeah. So anyways, <clears throat> enough chat. Let's get started and let's head into Hellfire Ramparts and I'm going to show you how to get out of bounds. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is run right past these guys because, you know, they're orcs. Nobody cares about orcs. Okay, they're going to attack us. All right, let's just kill these guys. Just get them out of the way. You know, ooh, man, it brings a lot of nostalgia coming into this dungeon because uh, I remember running this dungeon when I was really young uh, growing up. So um, what you're going to want to do is after you get past the link linked um, chain bridge, you're going to come over here to this first post. Now, I am actually taking a um, <clears throat> glitch from Game Uncrafter. He is another uh, World of Warcraft youtuber who does out of bounds videos just like kind of like um uh, hidden azeroth or haven games used to do and and uh yeah he's a really cool guy i hope you guys check out his channel i'll put it in the link description below uh he's really cool to go follow as well but anyways we're taking his idea so um, we're giving him all the credit right now for that is due <laughs> so when you come up here what you want to do is you want to get to this point right here and then you just want to jump up here uh, you should be able to. There we go. And once we jump up here, we can just simply fly out of the map. And there we go. Oh, we're stopped. <laughs> the the bridge stopped us. So, And that's that simple, guys. And we're officially out of Hellfire Ramparts. So what we can do is we can start heading out this way. We can jump on the ground here. Hmm. And we can go explore. But let's go have fun. Let's go take a look around. Now, this is really cool. Uh, getting out of bounds in Hellfire Ramparts and seeing Outlands. Let's go see if we can discover some cool stuff out here. Ah, we're already hitting a wall. Maybe we can get past the wall? 
Ooh, okay, we can't even mount up here. So let's see if we can go around this way, maybe? Ah, so there's just a complete wall here that we can't pass. Interesting. Okay, so let's go head out this way, then. Uh, let's start this way and see if we can make our way around in a circle. It's really interesting to me that they keep a lot of the, um, the objects out here that you're never supposed to see. But I guess, you know, you can see this stuff from the dungeon, right? A lot of this dungeon is outside anyway, so I guess they have to keep a lot of the Outlands map. Let's go take a look over the mountains, <laughs> like Uncle Rico would say. And uh, let's go take a look over here. All right, let's drop down here. And it looks like they do keep a lot of the um, structure this way. Oh, gosh. Okay, that scared the heck out of me. I thought that was like a floating like angel thing or something. I don't know, like a demon. But that is a cool picture right there. Look at that. They got a structure that's not even like loaded in all the way. And it's just like a hanging flag. <laughs> that's kind of cool. So normally I think this is a horde territory right here. <laughs> and you do have a hanging flag there. Just kind of chilling out in space here. Now, if we actually make our way over here, you can already see the edge of the world. So this map isn't too big. But what I'm really curious to see is if they actually keep the uh, dark portal in the beginning um, over there. But since we hit a wall, we're definitely going to have to go around here. I'm going to have to remember how to maneuver around this uh, place here. Now, I wanted to mention, if there's any videos that you all want to see, please let me know. I'm always looking for suggestions. Um, if you want to make a video together, let me know. I would love to get involved with all of you and uh, make a video. And, um, you know, we can talk as we're doing the video and do kind of like a little podcast or whatever. I'm, I'm here. I'm open. So if you guys want to film a video together and you have some ideas where you're like, hey, I want to show you this um, out of bounds area and yeah i mean well let's do it we can talk as we're doing it and you can kind of explain um, a little bit of background of how you did how you do the glitch or how you get out of bounds and maybe show me your favorite out of bounds area that i've never seen before yet or i've made a video on i would love to get feedback from all of you so if you have any ideas definitely hit me up and uh, let's do it we'll just have to schedule the time and what uh, what, what makes uh, the time work for both of us so as you can see over here, there's more out of bounds. Uh, there's actually a crack in the ground over here, which is interesting. But we don't want to jump down there because that's going to jump into like the gray void space. Now what's cool over here is uh, you can actually see uh, one of the PvP places with the flags usually in the middle here. And everything still is here. All right, let's head out this way. Our poor mount takes a beating. <laughs> I feel bad every time I drop. Uh, one sec, guys. All right, let's keep heading out this way. And as we come over here, we can actually get a good shot of the instance from the outside. So if you ever wanted to see Hellfire Ramparts outside, you can. And there goes one of the bosses. You know, it's funny. Um, a lot of these dungeons back in the day, it's so funny to me how... Uh, how little they were compared to what you thought, you know? Like, I don't know, for me when I was young and I used to see all these, play all these dungeons uh, growing up, um, they seem so big. And then now when I look at them, they're just like a miniature set. So it's pretty cool. 
All right, we're going to come out this way and we're going to go check out the demon. Now, if you notice, one of the cool things here is the the ground is textured, obviously, but the green muck or the green goo that usually lives here is gone. So the particle effects still happen, but we're just running through this place without getting hit by acid or whatever that stuff is. And we're going to get a cool shot of the demon over here. Now, I don't remember, I know this dude is in retail, but is it the same coloring and everything, or is this different outside of the instant zone? Because it looks like he's still, this whole, he's still holding this cool sword. And if we come up this way, we can see again the edge of the world. All right, let's head back this way, and we're going to see if we can keep making our circle here because we really want to get on the other side. And as you can tell, they do keep a lot of outland out here. There goes the wall. And there's actually a really cool shot of getting outside of the Hellfire Ramparts dungeon. We're going to go take a look at that here in a second. Now, they do keep a lot of the Horde encampment over here. And uh, you can actually go into this cave, I believe. Nope. Okay, it stops you. So, you can go in, but it will stop you. And it actually cuts off the music, too, like you're going into a cave. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So, if we come up here, uh, we're going to come see the Horde encampment. And you guys, you can tell a lot of it's still intact out here. Smoke's still going. The fire's still going. And I believe we can actually go inside of here as well. So everything is still in here. And if you come over here, this is actually the flight path. So you can see the uh, monster and creature still sitting here. And then we're going to come out this way. Alright, I want to go show you guys that shot of the uh, outer part of the dungeon here. Looks like It's like we're looking into the dungeon from the outside, which is really cool. There goes one of the bosses. Actually, the first boss of the dungeon right there. If I remember correctly. It's been a while since I've done this dungeon, but this is a really cool shot. And we're actually going to get a screenshot of this. Alright. Now, as you can tell, unfortunately, sadly, they don't keep the portal. Um, that would have been cool, right? I wish they would have kept the dark portal out here. But they don't. Now, I would go head over there, but there's going to be nothing over there. It's just the edge of the world. <clears throat> and as you could tell, where the portal usually lies is the edge of the world as well. So the path does get cut off. Now, what's really cool about this is the uh, there's no more wall over here, so we can go freely explore Netherguard Keep. Right, another guard keep. Gosh, I haven't even explored it yet on my demon hunter. <laughs> I'm so used to playing on my main, which is my hunter, and I've you know explored basically the whole world, so I have everything unlocked. And so when I need to reference a name, I go check it. But anyways, we're gonna call it Cool Alliance Keep over here because I'm the Alliance and I don't play Horde. But nothing against your horde players. Just, uh, we got a cooler keep. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking. And as you can tell, the whole keep is actually, uh, still intact here. 
Let's go inside the inn. And what's so weird is the... I've never seen the inn... Uh, ooh, that's weird. Not furnished. But nothing's actually here. You know, it's so funny to me that uh, Blizzard, the inns, are all the same, like, throughout the world. Like, obviously in the newer expansions, a lot of the buildings are different. But it's like they just took buildings, put another coat of paint on them, and then just slapped them in here. Which is kind of funny to me. So it's like you're in Goldshire around the world. Now, as you can see, one of the bigger keeps are actually still intact here. And everything is still loaded. But one thing I never understood that um, Blizzard never wants you to go see is the basement or downstairs of these buildings sometimes. And you can actually interact in these chairs. So I could sit here if I wanted to. Talk about a creepy place to chill and relax, right? Like I said before, I think you can get down here, though. Nope, see? For whatever reason, Blizzard does not like it when you go into basements, when you go into underground parts. So they keep everything but the underground, which doesn't really make any sense to me because it's like, well, why not just render the rest of the building? But not my decision. All right, we're going to head out this way. We're going to run past over here. So this is where we did start, remember, over there. And we hit the wall. So we're able to finally see what's back here. And not too much. We do keep the tower back here. And the uh, blimp crash. Now one thing we do got to check is if they keep the mine out here. You know, that infamous mine that you do the quest. <clears throat> Alliance players know. And we're going to see if we can get inside the mine. Nope, looks like it is completely shut off here. Whoa, now that is interesting. It said I discovered Arathia Basin? What? That is strange. Because wait, isn't... Am I getting things messed up here? But isn't Arathia Basin, isn't that the... Yeah, isn't that the battleground? <laughs> Why is... You know what? I'm not going to question things. But anyways, guys, I'm going to end the video right here. That is the Out of Bounds uh, map for Hellfire Ramparts. We're going to end with this very epic music playing. For some reason, we are officially in Arathia Basin, so we're about to go run a PvP. <laughs> but uh, anyways, guys, um, as always, my name is Nathan. Thank you so much for continuing to support the channel. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.